his hand and all of a sudden he, he squeezed it. Sonny, he hurt me. He's coming back to us. Griffin. Sam just told me he was, she was holding his hand and then and she, he squeezed it. That could mean he's coming too. Uh, I'm sorry, but it doesn't. Dr. Bronski, we meet at last. I was just starting to wonder when you'd get around to seeing me. My services are in high demand. I've gone to some trouble to adjust my schedule to accommodate you, but perhaps you've reconsidered your stay here. Why do you say that? Well, you appear skeptical of my methods, even after seeing my results. <laughs> you, you must understand my reluctance. I've been told that my scars are permanent. Then your doctors lack imagination and expertise. I restored Larissa's face, and I can do the same for you. If you are troubled by our policies, you are welcome to leave. There are plenty of people eager to take your place. So you want me to shut up and be grateful? I want a simple answer. Am I treating you or not? I'm willing to take the risk if you are. What risk is that? Well, your reputation. Now, I know you're a miracle worker, but this face is going to take more than a trip to Lourdes. Valentine warned that I'd have my work cut out for me, but your cause is far from lost. He does tend toward the melodrama. Doesn't he? So like a Cassidy. I understand why you think Jason may have been waking up. Squeezing your hand doesn't mean he's returning to consciousness. It's an involuntary muscle spasm. It's not a bad sign, though. It's not like he's not going to get worse. He heard me. Yeah. He heard me. He squeezed my hand. People in Jason's condition experience movements like this often. This may not be the first time he's done it, and it probably won't be the last. I know. He's coming back to me. I know he is. He's coming back to us, honey. Hey, keep talking to him. Let him know that you're here. He may not be conscious, but that doesn't mean he can't hear you. He needs to know what he's fighting for. Take care. Hey. Listen, hi. Hey, have you found out anything about that clinic in St. Petersburg? Uh, no, but I, I told you while I was looking into it. You know, it's going to take some time. As soon as he calls me, I will let you know. Okay, I, I, I don't know if I can wait. I don't. I, I just came from the hospital. I watched Sam and Sonny worry over Jason. They are in so much pain. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be the, the impartial doctor, right? And I try. I try. I try to keep it as professional as possible, take care of my patient. But I can't stop hearing this voice in the back of my head that tells me Ava could wind up in the same condition as Jason. Okay, I'm sorry. But the moment I hear something, you will too. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. I, I know you're, you're, you're sticking your neck out for me and... Is somebody staying with you? I, I, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Oh, no. It's my suitcase. Yeah. Were you going on a trip? Tonight. <coughs> you seem to be speaking from experience. Have you had dealings with other Cassidines? Their infamy precedes them. Yes, that's true. I do know of their reputation, and in most cases, it's justified. Most? Well, I became close with one of the Cassadines who's no longer with us. He was the exception to the rule. 